Welcome to Palms Academy. In this video, let us look at different ABC classification strategies that can be employed in a warehouse. Meet John. John is the head of supply chain at XYZ Corp. In the previous video, we saw how John evaluated different slotting strategies and implemented different slotting strategies in different warehouses based on operational requirements. One of the strategies employed by John was dynamic slotting based on ABC analysis. So, what is ABC analysis? ABC analysis is a process to classify the stock based on either inventory throughput or inventory valuation. ABC analysis is based on the Pareto principle which states that 20% of the stock accounts for 80% of inventory movement or profitability. In ABC classification based on inventory movement, SKU demand in the coming months is determined by running forecasts and through historical performance. Classification based on inventory movement can be further divided into inventory movement based on quantity or inventory movement based on lines. Let us see how John evaluates the different scenarios and chooses the optimal classification methodology. As the first step, John configures the ABC classification criteria. He defines SKUs contributing to 80% of inventory movement or value to be classified as A. SKUs contributing to the next 15% of inventory movement or value to be classified as B. SKUs contributing to the next 3% of inventory movement or value to be classified as C. The remaining SKUs are either classified as D, slow movers, or E, non movers. As the second step, John lists down all the SKUs in the warehouse and identifies the following points Total quantity transacted for the given period, Total number of order lines for an SKU for the given period, Sales price for each of the SKUs. Amongst classification based on inventory movement and price, John decides to first classify SKUs based on inventory movement. Within inventory movement, John decides to first classify SKUs based on quantity. John applies the formula as defined in the criteria in step 1 to configure SKUs based on quantity. Post classifying the SKUs based on quantity, John then applies the same formula to classify SKUs based on lines. Post that, John classifies the SKUs based on value. John notices that, when he classifies SKUs based on each of the above-mentioned methodologies, he gets a different set of ABC values for the same SKU. John decides to opt for a hybrid methodology relating to demand quantity and valuation, also known as ABC-XYZ analysis. In ABC-XYZ based analysis, John classifies SKUs as ABC based on quantity and XYZ based on value. In ABC analysis, John considers variation in SKU quantity, whereas in XYZ, he considers revenue in terms of high revenue to low revenue. Initially, John runs the ABC analysis manually using Excel. As time progresses, John understands the enormity of the task and configures the WMS to run ABC analysis and ABC XYZ analysis on a periodic basis. John uses the calculated ABC XYZ analysis values for demand planning and forecasting, effective slotting to optimize storage and warehouse throughput. John is satisfied that the results based on the configured rules to a large extent depicts the actual scenario. John plans to implement these concepts in other warehouses also based on requirement. John is happy that he can configure all his requirements in the WMS, thereby reducing the load and effort of warehouse managers to manually run the ABC classification. He is also happy that he can concentrate on his core responsibilities instead of getting into routine activities. This concludes the video on ABC analysis. Please share your feedback in the comment section below 
and subscribe to Palms Academy for more informational videos and blogs on warehouse management.